And that's why by the end of this Sermon on the Mount, Jesus finishes with some words here, which are going to come up on the screen. Uh, Near the end of the sermon, uh, he says this, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive, and the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Ask, seek, knock. Help, in other words. See, the Christian uh, doesn't believe they're a Christian because they believe they are good enough for God, but because they recognize they are not good enough for God. That as you look at the Sermon on the Mount, we don't meet God's standards. And so the Christian is the person that recognizes this out of humility and says to God, please help. Well, how does that help come? It comes through Jesus. God has made it incredibly easy for us to get into heaven, easier than trying to attain that for our own morality and into a relationship with God. He's done that by sending his son Jesus into the world to die on the cross. Whether you are the most moral or immoral person, everyone can come into a relationship with God through Jesus. And this is why Christians celebrate the Easter message, because of what Jesus did for us. You see, at the the Easter message of the death on the cross and the resurrection, there was a great exchange. There was a great exchange. The exchange was this, that when Jesus died on the cross, he died a sin-free man. He'd never sinned. He was perfect in God's eyes. And he did that, and he took the death on the cross so that he could take our sins on his shoulders. When Jesus died on the cross, he was taking the consequence and the, the, the result of our sin, that is death and separation from God, the punishment of God. Judgment came down on Jesus' shoulders in that moment on Good Friday. That is why it's called Good Friday, because that is the moment that human beings have the opportunity to be cleared of their debt before God before God so that we can now come before God with a clean slate we can now have a relationship with God because we're now worthy not for our own credentials but through Jesus but here's the exchange the exchange is not just Jesus taking our sins Jesus gives us his perfection he gives us his perfection his holiness and that is what the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit is a spirit that is holy given to the human being that enables us to be holy enough to be in relationship with God, holy enough to go to heaven, so that when we go to come before God, we can go to heaven because our sin will no longer taint heaven. We've been cleaned of our sin before God. This is a great exchange. Your friend takes your clapped-out Skoda off you and gives you a Porsche. That's a no-brainer, isn't it? Would you take that deal? I would. That's what Jesus does for us. He takes our poor state before God and gives us perfection. See, the man who ignores all Jesus' teaching, death and resurrection, is like the man who's built his house on sand. 